Hey guys, it's Maya here. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be doing something a little different to what I usually do, and that is to share alternatives to the famous Emmes Constance bag. So, a bit of background. So, I used to have a Constance bag, but it was a replica that I bought in Vietnam at this, you know, little market thing. I overpaid for it at the time but this was like more than 10 years ago and I bought it because I actually really love the style of the bag not really knowing about the Hermes brand. I pretty much had this bag so it was the orange I think it's in the larger size Epsom uh, leather uh, with gold hardware and I loved it because of the strap versatility where you could wear it long or you can double up and just wear it on the shoulder. And uh, I love the integration where the, the H, the center bar, lifts up and that, and then you open the bag. And then to close it, you put it back into place. So it's very well integrated, uh, very well harmonized, very well designed. And the reason why I stopped using it was because the, um, the gold bar at, on one side of the top of the bag came loose and because it was a not a real bag I didn't really want to invest in um, repairing it anyways uh, it's on my long-term wish list uh, the prices are ridiculous right now um, if you, especially if you don't get it direct from the retailer um, but I think in the future I'll get something there'll still be a happy color I mean, to my happy colors, um, but I think I'll try and find one where the H is a bit more understated, um, like it would have an enamel kind of finish. So oh, this is a crop finish, but the H is more understated, so it's more integrated and blends in with the color of the bag a bit more. Uh, here's some more examples. Here's black. And then the H is also black. And I don't mind the outline of the H, but other than that, it's, it's a bit loud. Like the H is actually quite big. Here's another example, like a teal blue where the logo is a bit more teal as well. And here's one that's like a dark red. But in the meantime, on my hunt for to find a bag, that may be similar and might be better design wise. It doesn't necessarily have to be a mess as long as it's good quality. So, on my hunt recently, I found three other alternatives to this bag, and I'm going to show that to you today that you might enjoy um, that doesn't cost an arm and two legs. Uh, let me show you what these are. Okay, so the first alternative with a similar strap and similar silhouette. To the Hermes Constance bag that I found in 2021 2022 is the Loewe Goal Goya bag in silk calfskin. So, in, Austra in Australia, it is uh, $5,300 at the moment, and at the moment, there's actually 11 colors. So, that's what it looks like. The strap is the pretty much the same except that it's adjustable where the Constance bag is not adjustable uh, and then they've got their logo here uh, there's no back pocket same with the Constance bag that's what it looks like and then there's an adjustable feature on the strap so I've seen this in person but I'm not a big fan of the logo myself uh, and the colors are quite particular. So there's a pine green, a cyan, cyan, uh, it's like a bright blue, a light purple, green, there's a black, uh, there's a dark foresty green, there's a yellow, um, like a warm beige tan color, then a light beige color, dark red, and a light Gray. So there are some current options available in the market at the moment, uh, and it's it's a smooth leather, not a textured leather. So next up, the second 
alternative I found, and this is quite new, and that is the Prada bag. So they have it available in a Saffiano leather, which is close to um, Hermes's Epsom leather. So what's great about this bag is that it's one big compartment, whereas the Hermes Constance bag, it's actually two compartments. Uh, so the strap is the same and the strap is not adjustable and it has the Prada logo. So here's some other images. Now what's interesting about this bag, I tried it on and everything was perfect except the closure, um, the hardware to close the bag. So here you can see like where the triangle is. Um, I actually don't like the triangle. Uh, but it flips down and then, then you pull the flap up. And what's great about this is the back pocket. There's a back pocket that is fully functional. Uh, and pretty sure I could fit my phone, my iPhone in there as well. So they have these in other colors. It currently retails in Australia for $4,550. And here's some other colors. So this is like a sand beige which I found a bit too light for my complexion personally, in person. They also have a white one with black trim and a light blue color one also. And this was really functional and the triangle closure for the flap is really cool, but it wasn't quite for me. If it was like a rectangle um, shape clock, then I probably would have bought it. Okay, so the final alternative to the Hermes Constance bag is by a, a brand that I didn't expect, um, and it is Cartier. So Cartier have a bag called the Double C de Cartier. So there is a dark red version in the promo picture, uh, which is part of their signature color. And here there are some, there's multiple colors and it comes in two sizes. So this is the mini. Uh, and the mini this is actually bigger than the nano. The mini is about 19 odd centimeters across. Um, so use, they used to have it in this fuchsia color. And it's a, in a smooth leather. But when I last visited, maybe January-ish of 2022, they didn't have it in stock anymore. So I think they were possibly sold out and it's, it's currently unavailable online. Uh, there's some other colors here. So there's a black. So there's a it's, uh, an enamel uh, logo at the front. And once again, with all these alternatives, I'm not a big fan of the logo, so it hasn't really pushed me to buy it. There's a, a light blue one. It's um, what it looks like when you open it. So there's, when, there's two little things in between the double CC that kind of click together. And there's no back pocket on this, and the strap is not adjustable. Here's a nano one. And the nano size is only 13 centimeters across, uh, and that didn't fit my phone. My, and I have an iPhone 12 Pro, so that didn't fit. And the logo it, the, with the enamel finish, it looked better in person than I expected, but it wasn't quite right. And another thing about the smooth finish bags um, with this Cartier one and the Loewe one, I was like, I wanted to use it more like an everyday kind of bag and I want to be able to throw it around and be a bit more carefree, but I'm not sure it would provide that kind, that would actually fulfill that kind of need for me, where the Safiano live on the Prada would be more durable. And then here's another one in like a dark green. And this is, I haven't seen this one until now. And it's a light 
pink. And here's what it looks like inside. So there's a few, uh, there's one main compartment and two smaller compartments at the front and the back. Uh, and it's cute because Cartier are known more for the jewellery. So they have this little uh, bonus gift inside the bag and it's like a little metal mirror, which I think is cute. So that's it from me. Um, I hope this has been helpful or interesting to know that there's some alternatives uh, to the constant silhouette, uh, uh, especially with the bag strap which I'm a big fan of. But, yeah, haven't really found anything else close to it. Um, please let me know if you know of an alternative to the Constance bag, particularly with the same strap. I know there's bags out there with a similar uh, mechanism, but they it's more of a chain or a chain and strap combo, which, you know, that's that's easily accessible. But please do let me know if you find a bag that's similar to the Constance bag with that particular strap. Um, but, yeah, if you've enjoyed this, please let me know. Um, please give me a like um, uh, and subscribe. If you want to see more of this stuff, let me know in the comments as well. Um, and that's it for me. Cheers. Or have a good one. Awkward outro. <laughs>